Hi, I'm Ben and I've been working on installing a solar panel on top of a kid's playset. So today what I'm going to be doing is uh, taking all the PVC conduit, gluing it together and mounting it, and then fishing the wiring through. So let's get to it. So I already uh, dug that trench, drilled a hole into the garage. I got this pulling box, which is a good way to get the power in there. I'm just kind of following what the commercial electrician did once upon a time when this garage was uh, wired up. But this is all separate pieces, this to this to this to this. So I'm going to use uh, PVC cement to glue them together. And I figure I can do this one whole big piece here all at once to start with. Now the other thing I did was I used a magic marker just to uh, mark the relationship of one piece to another because where there's all this lettering on the outside of the pipe. I want that to go right up uh, flat against here so it looks nicer, you know, just so that that lettering is hidden. So I'll glue these up but I'll follow those marks just to make sure. Like, uh, for example, here, this piece of pipe's gonna be flat against my garage, and I made sure that the lettering is on the inside, so it'll be right here where we don't see it. So let's glue up some pipe. Okay, now to do this, it's pretty straightforward. I've got a PVC primer and a PVC cement. You just follow the directions on the back uh, for gluing this together. Um, it's a solvent, so it actually kind of melts the pipe and the, the two pieces of pipe melt into each other for a real secure fit. and give that a few seconds to dry and that'll be solid as anything. Not saying I'm the greatest person at doing this, but uh, that'll certainly be watertight and keep the weather out. Now I just gotta do that to like 10 more joints. <laughs> okay, so back on the playhouse, uh, the junction box and the pipe out of it down to the corner, I got all that glued up. The only issue is at this corner right here, it's kind of this goofy compound curve uh, to get around there. So I decided to not glue this joint because there um, I could make that kind of a pull point, get all the cable through and then get the cable uh, all the way down through and in. Otherwise, um, you know, when I was playing around with the fish tape, just fishing it through, it kept getting stuck there. So I'll, I'll see if I can do a two part pull. Um, I guess next we got to take a look at wiring. Okay, what you're looking at here is a whole mass of uh, 12 gauge wiring, but it's a, it's a red and a black, which color codes correct for uh, the DC positive and negative, and it's 12 gauge, which is uh, fairly heavy. Um, I did a voltage calculator and uh, 12 gauge should work fine for this project. Also, I got a sample here with my three quarter inch conduit, and uh, it fits through, it's okay. Uh, I might need some sort of a lubricant or something for pulling the wires through. Um, and then I'm gonna have the green ground wire through here, too. Uh, the other thing is this is salvaged wire, so I didn't pay anything for it, but on the other hand, I also do have to check it for continuity, make sure there aren't any breaks in there. I cut the cable to uh, the length I need, plus a pretty good margin of error. I got the multimeter set to resistance. Uh, one means infinite resistance, and uh, if I touch the two connectors, uh, zero resistance. So I'll check the wires here. And there we go, that's a good wire. And so is that. So uh, just making sure I didn't have any breaks or anything in any of the wires. Here I've run the fish tape up through the conduit. The end of it's sticking out here. So I'll take my red and black wire, connect them on there. I'm also gonna have a green wire and I might just put a piece of um, like kind of a heavy string or something through there too in case I need to try to add another wire for whatever reason uh, in the future um, I can attach it to the string and pull it through. Okay now I've just pulled the cable I've got a few feet at the top still to work with I got it through um, I used this point here uh, as being not glued so I could uh, still work with getting the cable through Got it pulled all the way down through all this conduit here, and I've got it coming out there. Then I can just push these pipes all back together and then uh, 
feed it right through there into the garage. And since the cable is through, I can now put the cover back on. And then we'll get some caulk and get mounted right there like that. I think the next part's kind of the fun part. It's uh, going up on the roof and actually making the wire connections. Uh, now inside the garage, I already made sure I had plenty of cable. So uh, up here at the box, I can trim it to size. First thing I'll need to do is identify off the solar panel, which is the positive and negative, and then wire up my little uh, pigtail connections for those into the box up there and make the ground connection. Now I might not be able to show you uh, each individual step by step just because um, standing up on a ladder and using tools, kind of hard to use a camera at the same time. So I'll probably make those connections and then come back and show you exactly what I did. Up on the roof here, I made the connection between uh, from the solar panel uh, to our red and black wires. I used uh, kind of heavy duty splicing blocks and covered them with uh, color coded shrink wrap. Uh, so those go to my two short pigtail cables which come up here and then they plug into the actual solar panel. Now I, c I can't actually see what I'm pointing at right now so I hope I got the video camera pointed the right direction. So there's where the, the little short MC4 cable plugs into the solar panel cables. Then I've got, got the extra looped up with a zip tie, and that goes to the solar panel. And then the green wire went through the box, and it comes to uh, right here. Uh, so that's just a ground wire for the frame, keep the frame from ever getting uh, to a different voltage than ground. So here now I'm going to shrink these, tuck them in the box, and put the cover plate on and then I just kind of need to tuck these wires out of the way. Well, it's been about 100 degrees today and uh, just about 100% humidity, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I still need to fill in that trench and then I have to uh, caulk uh, up at the box and then also where the power goes into the garage. And then really all that's left to do is run the conduit inside the garage and hook up the power in there and I'll be all set with this project. Okay, I'm going to call that filled back in.